cereal, man. On keto. Black dude! You had brain cancer. But what you heard, I don't know. I don't know. This is interesting. We get two speeches. So I'm going to teach you guys some things. Everybody else out turning up, partying. I'm working. Sales over everything! Sales over everything! Never be a victim. Back from the road trip, came back with a bunch of packages. So I got this food. These guys can make some keto food, instant hot cereal. That's interesting. Yeah, and I'm gonna be working with these guys. I got a, a little endorsement uh, deal with these foods, man. I like the product, right? So it's high, high key food. So it's cereal, man, on keto. Mm -hmm. I'm back at it. <laughs> then I got other packages. This shit might be Amazon shit. I don't know what this is. Actually, don't know. So they got these like. Cheese things. Put some more shit. I don't know. Uh, cookies. These are all keto snacks, man. High key foods. You know this. Yo. So uh, what's about to happen is we're gonna shoot some images for the giveaway we're doing for this brand. You know, because I'm gonna be working with them now. High key foods. They make keto foods. So it's kind of dope. I only work with companies I like for endorsement shit, and it's got to be shit that doesn't conflict with Bro Lab shit. And you know, we don't make food. Uh, so it, it works. It works really well. So we about to go outside in the cold. Bella, you ready? Bella, you ready? Go through a little bit. Bella, you ready? It's so cold. It's really windy today. It's like 37 degrees and hard wind. So, yay! White boy. Yeah. What's up, black dude? <laughs> so guys, this is a white boy Brian. A lot of y'all like to introduce y'all to white boy Brian. Y'all never heard of him. Never man. seen me before. Nah. What's up, dude? Yeah. What's up, man? You doing alright? Hey, sir, how are you? Hey. What's K your Rock. Name? K Rock. K Rock? Yes, K Rock. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Logan, but that's not that great. Yeah. So, <laughs> Brandon, Brandon will be out here in like, just, cool. just a second. Oh, Yo, what's up, man? How are you? I'm chilling, man. Dude, we're just hanging out. We out. Awesome. We out. Oh, look who just stopped up? by. You know what I'm saying? King Keto is here. Yeah, what is going on? What's going on, man? Beautiful man. Good, dude. Man, I really I appreciate you for tossing all this stuff up randomly. I mean, it really Ooh, means a lot. It's all good, man. It's all the yeah. same time. Man, yeah. Yeah, have a seat, man. That's where the magic happens. You out here crushing it, man. I see just you. Just trying to follow your footsteps, man. I just want to be a millionaire in the next five years. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah? Before yeah. I'm 30, I mean, I'm 22. Just... Wow. Yo, you can do it, man. How many followers you on Instagram now? Is the Instagram your biggest? Uh... Yeah, it, it's my biggest, but my, my real passion and my real drive right now is YouTube. Mm. Um, I'm at 27,000. Congratulations, man. Thank you. How about you doing keto? Three years. Three years, about the same, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Just fighting brain cancer, trying to... That's right, you have a crazy story. Right? Yeah. You had brain cancer. I, I did. Well, let's see, it's mm. like... I, I say I'm cancer-free. I, mm. I believe I am cancer-free, mm -hmm. but brain cancer is so different than testicular cancer breast cancer like doctors never say like oh yeah logan you're, you're cancer free mm -hmm. good job bud my full tumor was was removed and so i believe i am, am cancer free but i'm just doing everything i can to prevent the tumor yeah. from coming back yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the whole goal and like at length about like you know how like the research is yeah for brain cancer and, and or just cancer in general and keto that's that's crazy how's it helped you oh it's changed my life yeah. i mean i was a four thousand calorie guy with 300 carbs a day. Yeah, and me too. Yeah. I just cared about the size and yeah. the looks, not the health. Yeah, me, yo, it's the same thing. And then my, my cholesterol was yeah. crazy high. I, I remember you talking yeah. about that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's insane. Bye. I don't know what to say. I worked all day. And I'm going to do the same shit tomorrow. And I've been doing that for mad days in a row. Okay? That's my life, ho. See you tomorrow. Damn, school brought like a motherfucker, like a, like a, like a, like a. Then they'll frown the bottom. Take rebellion for a fuck a mob. About to have a meeting, then I'm skeeting. We ain't even booked the flops. I don't, I don't know. Don't know niggas wanna fight.
We make payroll, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pay the rent. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Make money. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We got the the new rebellion. It ain't new. It's a new flavor of the new flavor. Y'all tried this shit yet? I don't know. Nah. Y'all ain't never had this? None of y'all? I did try the sample. It's everybody. Oh Vegas? Yeah. Yeah, I tried it. What it tastes like. What it smells like. What it is. I don't know. I don't know. Is it good? I don't know. I don't know. Is it good? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Taste some of that, man. What it do? What it do? What it do? Yeah. Mm. He likes it. Brian, you never tasted it? I tried the sample. It's delicious. It's delicious? It's delicious. My mood. Oh, get some. Get some. Get some. It's fresh, man. It's crisp. It's the same flavor. It's the mm. version. Mm. It's rebellion. So yummy. Yeah? Oh my god. Yo. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's fire. It's more, it has a more citrusy taste. Like, I taste the lime a little yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. It kind of tastes like the old rebellion, but like yeah, better. Yeah. Like the cherry is better. Put it in your mouth. Drink it up. Drink it up. Drink it up. It's so important whenever you're trying to do something or implement a certain project that it is scheduled and you outline it. Now this isn't to be confused with paralysis by analysis because you're gonna move and you're gonna move fast, especially in an environment like this. You just need a basic picture outline and then you move forward. So for example, Brandon told me that he wanted to do a webinar on Thursday on Tuesday. Right, so that's a very short time period. But instead of panicking, the way I probably once would or some of you do right now and you're trying to fix that, me and Brandon in the calendar, which you'll see over here, we meet every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Trill Brandon weekly meeting, 12 to 12.30. We always meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you happen to have a boss or an assistant, highly recommend you have two days per week where you meet for 30 minutes and you don't compromise it regardless because there's always things to talk about. So with that in mind, because I knew I was talking to Brandon anyway when he messaged me at like 8 a.m. Tuesday morning he wanted to build a webinar, I went into my meeting agendas, I use Evernote, and I made sure that one of the things that we talk about was um, the webinar. So we talked about the webinar built, I knew that we had to outline it. I check that off once we do it. It's a very quick outline. I have the story section, everything that I want to go over. I have the three secrets, which you may know from um, Russell Brunson's perfect webinar. Three case studies. And what are the case studies going to be? We outlined who the uh, testimonials would be. And I, I needed to know what the offer was. And that's all I really needed. So again, but notice how nothing is left to chance. The scheduled meeting for me and Brandon to talk was already there. I listed the things to make sure that we cover it. We outlined it. And now all that's next is me building it, which I'm almost done with. And it'll be ready for the webinar tomorrow, which is also scheduled in the calendar. Hey, Brandon, Real Estate Alex, and the rest of the program. Um, we all here in the you did it? Mm -hmm. Me and Maddie collabed. I appreciate your leadership. The team is awesome. I'm grateful that I have been a part of this. Fucking Rex, bro. Uh, Take your time, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Take all the time you need, man. <laughs> Ain't no rush. Guy on Adams, he's crushing on. You remember here from Toronto? Yeah, Toronto. Yo, we need these chopped up. Yo, man, just thank you guys a lot. Like, I, I really appreciate that. You know, it means a lot, man, because, yeah, we like making money. Balling. Balling hard. It's like when I, when I was just a personal trainer, like, the excitement I used to get from, like, helping people, like, change their bodies, you know, because like, I knew what they did with their, their lives, you know. It's like, this is, like, even better, because I know, like, what, like, this kind of success or, like, the money that this makes, I know that's going to do for a lot of you guys. It's like, but you do for your lives, for your families, the goals you'll be able to accomplish and the other things you'll be able to do, what it can mean for your families and, and the people that you love and 
I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's dope. I mean, this means a lot to me, man. So thank you, thank you very much. I, I really, I really, I really do appreciate this, man. Honestly, thank you guys. I'm about to give this speech. This is an interesting weekend. Two speeches this weekend. One there for RZ Derek, and another one of this kid Sam. He's got this breakthrough event. He's calling it the breakthrough. And it's like he's got a lot of speeches for that shit. So should be cool, man. Interesting weekend. Another event, how work, cocktail network and shit. Saturday, man, I'm hustling, man. What you doing Saturday? Watching cartoons and shit, a little baby. Get out of here and work like an adult man. Let's go. All right, so we've got to go to this event. And it's a reunion for, it was like a mastermind that I was a speaker yeah, about a year ago. So at the event, there was, a, there was a number of speakers and there was a bunch of people who were attending. And at the end, they, they had all the speakers go up and say, we're gonna do something different today for dinner. You guys can all pick the speaker whose table you want to sit on. And two people sat at my table out of like, man, out of like. <laughs> but that's because these people were kind of. Mm -hmm. motherfuckers, like, you know, organic motherfuckers, you know, like organic spiritual motherfuckers, you know, like motherfuckers. Like, it's full of people who say, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual, you know, like like those kind of people. And all the people who's like, is that organic? Mm, you eat red meat. Like it was those kind of motherfuckers. And I went up in there talking, talking some gangsta shit. Y'all said some wild shit. I definitely offended a lot of like different ethnicities. But you can't be racist if you're black. I was happy about it because I didn't like none of them people. And the two motherfuckers who came to my table were the only people I liked. They were the coolest motherfuckers. Uh, so I hope to see them there. Let's go. Appreciate it. Yeah, you don't have to, but we gotta get both of these vlogs. Did you get some shit on this too? During the speech? Yeah. yeah. There was quick ones, right? One second. That's a good end for that shit. You want to be a marketer, you're a drop shipper, you want to make a relationship, you even want to give advice, you want to give business advice, you want to get your point across, a sale is broken down into 60, 30, 10, okay? 60% of somebody doing business with you, 60% of somebody saying yes to your product is if they like you, if they're like you, or if they want to be like you. Nobody here would even listen to me. If I had a product to pitch right now, you wouldn't even listen to me if you didn't like me, if you weren't like me, or if you didn't want to be like me. You don't even get your product across. However, people are trying to shove product down people's throats. I'm like, dude, all things being equal in business, people do business with their friends. All things being unequal in business, people still do business with their friends. Walked into the room, he's been crushing it. A lot of us here have probably seen or bought something he's offered and didn't even know it. So give it up for my man, legend, Brandon Corner. So I'm gonna teach you guys some things. Those of you guys who don't know me, um, my name's Brandon Carter. I built a multi seven figure uh, online fitness business and supplement line. Uh, I have about 15 employees. My office is in Central, is right next to Central Park on 72nd and Broadway. I also have a marketing agency where I run some huge accounts with big influencers, and I do like their whole business. Like all everything they sell, the whole back end, and they can just go on the internet and look pretty and shit, you know. So I just did the fucking speech. I am the best. Like really, I, I really, I'm, the, I'm like one of the best public speakers in America. Who's not a stand-up, outside of stand-up comics. Cause they're better than all. Like I'm, I'm okay. Top 10%. Mm -hmm. For real. Unless we're talking to vegans and shit. They don't like it. <laughs> Cause that's how I roll. <laughs> 